So he says, have you done wrestling before? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, for 45 minutes, I was thrown around the gym and I was pinned to the ground. I was choked out, you know, and I couldn't really answer it. So at the end of it, I'm sitting there all battered and bruised. And this Dan came along and he, he looked over, he looked down at me and he looked at the guy that I'd with and he said to him, he's done wrestling before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he sat me down and he said, okay, so what's your name? So I told him. So he said, well, what have you done then? I said, well, I've done judo and I've done karate. And he said, uh, well, what grade then? Said, okay, he says, well, he says, well, I quite like you. You, can, you, may, you may come back to my wrestling class. <laughs> so that was, that was the introduction. To Very nice of him. <laughs> but, but then this other guy, Bobby, the, the, the boxing, the boxing instructor, he was, he was a different animal. And he had those sort of, um, I mean, he's obviously, this we're talking about 1980s, so he would have been in Northern Ireland, I suppose, the, yeah. like the 70s era. But he, he he had that look about him that you thought, nah, I don't want to mess with you, mate. You know, he had these like shark eyes. He looked at you and nah, don't want to play with you. And we went on this boxing weekend. <laughs> went on this boxing weekend in a place called Lippitz Hill, which is in uh, Essex, right in the middle of Epping Forest. And in those days, it was the headquarters of, well, before it was SO19, it was D11 or PT17, D11. 